Tom McKinney was a Navy corpsman serving with the Marines during the Vietnam War. Memories are still vivid for him sitting in foxholes in the mud of Vietnam. Spent a lot of time out in the field, in the rain, like being in a sauna. A sauna? In the jungle, and it was jungle warfare. Philip Schmidt served with the 1st Marine Division with his brother. His job was distributing supplies to troops in the field with this mechanical mule. What was it like being under fire in one of these? Uh, well, you just uh, did what you were trained to do and uh, took care of yourself and your, your uh, fellow servicemen. I look back at it now. It was an important part of my life. It actually, uh, you know, developed how I am now. So. It was a long, tough war. More than 153,000 soldiers were injured. 58,000 men never came home alive. Chuck Vespa's job as a corpsman was to treat those men in the field. Contact with the enemy is what we were looking for. Oh. And when we found this, when I got busy. But it's the ones he lost that he still thinks about every day. When I heard about the fall of uh, Vietnam, the first thing I thought of was J.C. Clark, which was one of my close buddies and the other 42 KIAs I had over there, and it just hit me like a ton of bricks. It was 39 years today that the war officially ended. Despite the losses, it seems some good has come from it. Vietnam is now an important U.S. ally. People there generally have good feelings towards America. That's the word from Jack Kent. He was there when the U.S. Embassy reopened in Vietnam. Uh, I never saw any uh, bad graffiti around Americans go home. There was none of that mm -hmm. there, and uh, they were very happy for us to be there. Probably most important, Americans now have changed the way they view the military. Now, instead of turning their backs on soldiers, as they did in Vietnam, they support servicemen despite their feelings about the conflict. I'll put it this way, is that... Uh, the people that are in the military are there on behalf of every one of us in this country. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I think if that's kept in mind, uh, it makes the perspective a little bit clearer. Melissa Shriver, KHQA News, Quincy.